she looks very confused. Bye. Hey everyone. So we are back with another Aussie snack video. You guys loved the last one. And so we decided to pick up a few different options this time. Uh, there were some things that you guys suggested that we haven't been able to find yet. And definitely if there's any more that we haven't tried in this video or the last video, give us some recommendations. We're happy to do more of these. So we have a bunch of sort of chocolate ones this time and a couple of other little things. So as usual, pick your first one. Okay, I'm, I have to do Turkish Delight. I am a huge fan of Big Turks back in Canada and I'm not sure if these are going to quite be it's, the same. It's definitely not like a Big Turk, um, but it's more like real Turkish Delight covered in chocolate. Uh, regardless, I'm excited. So. <laughs> okay. struggling with her new nails. <laughs> it's the first time I've actually ever had, like, done nails. It's good, right? A oh people... my god. <laughs> A That's lot of good. people don't like these, but I really like them. My dad really likes them. I reckon that I like them more than the Canadian one. The Big Chat. Yeah. Big Turk is close, but it's definitely more of a candied flavor, whereas you're definitely getting a lot more of like the rose, the Turkish rose flavored Turkish delight with this. So yeah, this is a dream. <laughs> okay. One to ten. Yeah. This is a fourteen. A fourteen. Okay. So I'm gonna do chocolate bar as well, but it, this is a comparison between two. So we have a crunchy and we have a violet crumble. Now you're either a crunchy person or a violet crumble person. I'm not gonna tell you which one I am. Uh, but now I have one? tried crunchy back in Canada. I'm not quite sure how yeah. it compares. And I must have had it over 10 years ago. But I have had crunchy back in Canada. All right. Cheers. I love this. It's nice and like soft. Like it's it's firm still. So uh, if you really wanted to suck on it like you would with um, a sponge toffee, you could do that. But it's nice and soft. Whereas if I remember crunchy more, it's a lot harder. Hmm. If you can't tell from my face, I really don't like Violet Crumble. I think I like these better. Yeah. I don't understand people who are Violet Crumble people over a Crunchy, because a Crunchy to me tastes so much better. So, uh, a mark out of 10 for each of them. Wait, first, which one are you? You're a Crunchy, right? Yeah. And a mark out of 10 for each of them. Seven and six and a half. It's really close okay. for me. Fair enough. It's really this, close for me. This for me is like a two and a crunchy being a seven or an eight. Oh wow. Yeah, I don't notice the <laughs> difference that big in the flavor, but it crunchy is definitely the better one in my books. Okay, uh, next I'm gonna do minties. I love these. Now this is one of the ones that we were recommended to do. Correct? Yeah, um, this is one that my honey Terry recommended, uh, but I actually wanted, like when I did the last one and I bought all the things, as soon as it arrived, I was like, oh my goodness, I forgot to get Minty's. Minty's has a slogan. It's moments like these that you need Minty's. And on the wrappers, it's um, got like something going wrong. Oh yeah, this guy's drops all his groceries and this person is shown up to the beach with a surfboard and pouring water. Yeah, this guy's legs are too long for his kitty pool. She doesn't look like a fan. 
They're really chewy. These remind me a lot of the types of mints that you would get at a restaurant after dinner. It tastes very much like that, except you have a massive glob of it that you cannot chew. You can chew it. It's, uh, not, it's not ideal. If, if you don't want to break your teeth, you wouldn't chew it. Mine's fine. Well, lucky you. It's not ideal for something like this. No. Where you want to chew something quickly. No, they're, the only moment I would want a minty is a moment where there's a dangerous conversation going on and I don't want to have to say a word. That's the only moment I would want minties. I love minties, so. Plus, I like the little dinner mints where they're like just tiny little circle and it's got like chocolate in the middle. Everyone in Canada, I'm sure, knows what I'm talking about. I know what you're talking about, but Those, that's not, like, that's a dinner mint. It's completely different. Yeah, this is trash. Dude, I, people are gonna be so mad at you. <laughs> I'm gonna say, <laughs> Minty's gets like three and a half, four. Wow. Yeah. I love Minty's. Minty's get a nine for me. The flavor isn't terrible, but no. All right, Just your nine. choice. Sticking with the mint, let's do peppermint crisp. Now, I am a fan of mint flavor. It, again, my low vote for minties was more about For someone who says she likes to chew. to chew things, she really doesn't like the things that she has to chew. I just wanna be able to get stuff down quick. I've got too many things to say in a day to waste time <laughs> chewing. Ooh, so I see a little picture here of green chocolate on the inside. It's not chocolate. Green mint? It is green mint, but it's not chocolate. When I was a kid, we had chocolate that was at a local um, like chocolatery. And oh my goodness, if this is like that. Were you surprised by that texture? Mm-hmm. So what it is, is like tiny little, like little cylinders inside. It looks like mint crystals. Of like mint, like yeah. long mint like crystals. Like mint coffee, sort of. It's awesome. Honestly, that is great. <laughs> peppermint crisp, I will give a nine. Nine and a half. I love the peppermint crisp. I find that peppermint crisp tastes like uh, mint choc chip ice cream. Yeah, honestly, it tastes delicious. It's that perfect like mint slash chocolate flavor that you're looking for. The texture is beautiful and definitely a little surprising and shocking. Okay, let's do some tippies. Like change from the chocolate. Now, I'm gonna go with this one. I haven't really had a lot of this as an adult, but as a kid, I loved Latin tangy chips. Do you, like, do you think I could tell you what's in it? No idea. It's just light and tangy. Is that the flavor? The flavor is called light and tangy. Smell? No? Smells a little salt and vinegary. It's like a slightly more vinaigrette flavor of sour cream and onion, which I really enjoy. It's weird, it's like somewhere between ketchup chips yeah. and salt and vinegar, and there is a tomato. There is a picture of a tomato on it. T tomato, tomato on it. And pepper. Yeah, those are very interesting flavored chips. I quite like these. They're good, they're, I definitely never find myself like grabbing these consistently but they're definitely a nostalgic thing for me. Yeah, these aren't high on the chip list, but they are very nice, very yeah. refreshing. A mark? I'd say nine. Nine? Yeah, they're pretty good. We're gonna go with a picnic. Now, Kira has told me that she thinks these are very similar to O'Henry's back yeah. in Canada. 
So I'm I'm gonna be judging a bit against you no know, Henry. Cause I am quite keen on those. You wanna try it best? I mean it looks good. So yes, I like it. It is very similar to O. Henry, but I would say it's a weird hybrid between O. Henry and Mr. Big. Uh, honestly, it's quite delicious, but I think I would prefer an O. Henry or Mr. Big over a picnic. Yeah, I don't like all three, so. <laughs> yeah, it's not a bad chocolate bar. I don't think it would be a go-to for me. Yeah, I don't hate a picnic, but it's not a go-to. Picnic, six and a half, seven. Okay, so we have one chocolate bar left and one pack of chippies. Is that what you're gonna go with? I'm gonna go with these only because I'm super sure that I'm gonna fall in love with these, which are sweet chili and yeah, sour yeah. cream from our favorite Red Rock Red Deli. Deli. <laughs> Have you had this before? Yeah, I grew up with this. This is the dream. Hotness. This already looks so good. You like it? Honestly, Milky Ways are great. This is super delicious. I'm super into it. Yeah. It's kind of like the, um, like a Mars bar, but without the chocolate, without the caramel. And I'm really into Mars bar and not into caramel. So, yeah. yeah. I love Mars bar. So that's good. Milky Way, eight, eight and a half. Okay. Last but definitely not least, we have sweet chili and sour cream. I, <laughs> I honestly think of anything with sweet chili and sour cream as just like a quintessential Aussie flavor. It really surprised me when I moved overseas that people don't have sweet chili and sour cream in everything. Like we have potato wedges and you have to have potato wedges with sour cream and sweet chili sauce and like, there's just a bunch of things, and sweet chili sauce was so difficult to find. Mm. That's good. Oh my goodness, what happened to that one? Oh. Okay. <laughs> I was disappointed at first when I bit into it because I was like, Whoa. <laughs> She's gonna say that she was disappointed at first because she was like, Where's the chili? Yeah, and then like, <laughs> it's just like very creamy, mild in the beginning, and then all of a sudden, like. The flavor is literally bursting in my mouth as it goes. And it's not getting hot. It's just bursting with flavor. Like, I don't know how to say it other than like <laughs> the back of my tongue is so excited right now. Yeah. <laughs> I knew exactly what she was gonna say. Because at the same time, my tongue was like doing that thing where the, the heat of the chili finally like sets in and you can just, you just get the chili flavor. Like it's not hot, but mm. you get like the chili flavor right on the back of your tongue. Honestly, these are great. This is so good. But it's really good because then you have like, you take another bite and you have the cooling sensation of the sour cream. Honestly, this chili flavoring is the type of chili flavoring you want in your hot chocolate. 
Yeah. Like you don't want your hot chocolate to be hot, spicy, but you want that chili flavor to like kick in at the end to like carry the chocolate, the, the creaminess of the chocolate through. Yeah. Oh my goodness, this is great. I definitely just inhaled a bit of uh, chili, but that's fine. Just gonna eat the rest of these. <laughs> These babies, full on 20. <laughs> so, as usual, if there's anything else that you think that we should try on camera, please let us know. Uh, we might do some like specialized ones as well, like trying a bunch of different flavors of Tim Tams or trying Australian ice creams. Uh, let us know what you'd like to see. For sure. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please go down below and hit the like, bell notification button, and subscribe if you haven't already. All of these little things are tiny little steps that take not a whole lot of action on your part, but can go a big way to help us hopefully take this channel somewhere and uh, continue doing what we're doing. As always, much love and we'll see you next time. Bye.